Hey everyone, what's happening? My name is Elliot with ePark Fishing, and today I'm going to be comparing three different Akaso cameras underwater. So first of all, the V50 Elite is the most expensive, and it's $140. Second is the V50 Pro at $110, and the EK7000 Pro is the most affordable at $75. So in order to get them all side by side at the same exact time, I use this triple mount, and it keeps them all at the same angle too. So let's get them out there. I'll give you the footage side by side. You can decide for yourself which one is the best and I'll give you my opinion for which one does the best in each category. So the zoom performance of the three cameras was really interesting. I think the V50 Pro looks the best but the EK7000 Pro is almost sharper and the color looks a little more natural on the EK7000 but the V50 Elite is definitely last place for me. It's just fuzzy and not a lot of detail. The one thing that I don't like about the V50 Pro is it's looking really green. Um, the EK7000 Pro looks a little more like the actual colors, but again, it's got that graininess. Like here, you can see it's kinda, it's sharper, but it's more grainy. So I'll give this one to the V50 Pro. So in order to do the slow motion comparison, I had all three cameras at 720p and 120 frames per second. So I could really slow it down to about a quarter speed. I was really impressed by the EK7000 Pro. For being such a cheap camera, it's by far the sharpest in 720p. Um, the V50 Pro looks pretty pixelated and fuzzy, but I'll give that one second place and then the v50 elite is still kind of washed out and fuzzy not a lot of detail but i think there's really no question that the ek7000 pro is the clearest picture the sharpest and it's pretty smooth too slowed down to a quarter or so good job ek7000 pro so the full light comparison was meant to test these cameras in ideal filming conditions. So crystal clear water and full light and shallow water. I think the EK7000 Pro is really impressive. It's very sharp and the colors are pretty rich. The V50 Pro is right there with it, with the colors. But the V50 Elite is definitely still last place. In this shot, I think the V50 Pro looks the best. It's got the most details, so I'm going to give that category to the V50 Pro. So here we go with the low light comparison. This is super important to me as an angler because cloudy days are great for fishing. The fish can't see your lure or your bait as well, so I want to be able to film. So in this still, I think the V50 Pro looks a little better, but it's hard to tell. Here's another shot where I had a submerged log with a bunch of current and bubbles. The EK7000 Pro looks kind of noisy and the Elite is still fuzzy and uh, faded. The V50 Pro just looks the most lifelike to me, but this one was really close and really hard for me to figure out. Um, let me know in the comments which one you think is the best. I'm going to give it to the V50 Pro. As for the battery life on these three cameras, I always had the batteries charged up all the way when I went out filming and then let them run all the way down until they died. So the first one to die would always be the V50 Pro at around 22 minutes of 4K filming, then the EK7000 at around 25, and then the V50 Elite would die around 27 minutes. So there's only a five minute difference between the three. It's pretty much a wash, but I'm gonna give it to the V50 Elite out of pity because it didn't win anything else. So colors are really hard to judge because they're really based on opinion, but I think the V50 Pro has the most vibrant colors, followed by the EK7000 Pro, and the Elite definitely is the most washed out. But this one was really hard to decide too, because the EK7000 does have more natural colors, I think, but the V50 Pro just pops a little bit more, so I'm going to give this category to the V50 Pro. So after all the testing, the EK7000 Pro only won the slow motion comparison, the V50 Elite barely won the battery comparison, and the V50 Pro 
won every other category. So I think it's safe to say the V50 Pro is probably the best overall camera for underwater filming out of these three. And that's the one I'm gonna go with, at least for now, for my underwater filming. I do really like the EK7000 Pro for slow motion though. So I'm definitely gonna keep using that. And I might do a dual setup where I have both cameras. So in case I wanna slow something way down, I'll use the EK7000. So please hit the like button if you like underwater filming and you're interested in seeing more of these videos. It really helps out the channel. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so when I put out a new video, you will be notified. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.